Hey guys, welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. Today we're going to talk about the weather app on your iPhone device. Maybe you found that the location of the weather is incorrect on your iPhone and you want to change that. I'm going to show you a couple options for that today. So the first thing we're going to do is open the weather app on our device and you are going to automatically have your location in there based on what iPhone thinks the area is that you're located. But if this is incorrect, there is a way to fix this. So let's go ahead and first tap down here on these lines in the bottom right corner. This gives us a little menu and it gives us some other options that you may have in here for other cities for their temperature and their weather. So if you want to delete those or remove those, you can do that easily up here. So you tap the three dots and you'll see an edit list option. Now when you tap that, it doesn't actually let you delete your location, so we're going to have to do that in another area of your iPhone under settings. But if you do have a city already set and you just don't want it in there anymore, you can absolutely delete that. So we'll go ahead and remove Tampa here. So now what we wanna do is change our location. So go ahead and tap done here. And once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and close the app out for now, and we're going to go to our settings. Now, once you go to settings, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see the weather app, and that should be here under this section. There it is. So we'll go to the weather app settings, and then you will notice that there is a location. Now, there's a couple things that you can do here. So let's tap on that. Now, if you want to, you can just always set your location on the weather app to never, but if maybe it has a general area of where your location is, you might see precise location and that might be unticked. So you may want to start first by ticking that and then see if the location for the weather in your area is more precise. If it's not, you're just going to want to tap on never. And once you tap on never, you're going to want to go ahead and exit back out of there. And let's go ahead and just close out the settings. And now we're going to go back to the weather app. So once we tap on the weather app, you're going to notice there's pretty much nothing here. So we're going to want to go ahead and just set a location. So let's just go ahead and add back Tampa again. And what you'll notice here now is that we can add Tampa. And Tampa will just kind of be like your default uh, settings for location. So you want to go ahead and add that after you've done that there. And you'll notice now in your list, I just have Tampa back in this list, actually. And we're just going to tap on that. And anytime we close out our, our uh, weather app and we reopen it, we're just going to notice that it defaults right back there to Tampa. So hopefully that helps you. That is a workaround that you can use if the location is just not working properly on iPhone. If that was helpful, feel free to uh, like this video. And if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day. Take care.